It's yeah. terrible. He, terrible. He's just he's just useless. Just a useless, he's useless. player. He's useless like a player. shittier Kurt Cousins. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. I think there's like 50 Kurt Cousins in the league, and there's three good quarterbacks, and everybody else is a Kurt Cousins, except for Mac Jones, who's a Mac Jones. He's fucking terrible. Oh, hey, America. Welcome to the Eric and Rodney show. We're live. Do you know that? <laughs> Not only I do live, now. Hey, welcome to the internet. This is our 100th episode, I think. Oh, I think if I can count correctly, we did it. <laughs> How about that? How about Paul's that? Been on yeah. 90 of them. That's exciting. Yeah. Congrats, guys. Congrats. That's awesome. You know what? You know what interesting fact about it is that 100 people have seen the show, too. They're not bad. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Well, pretty good stats. A hundred, a hundred uniques. I don't right. go that far. I think my mother's seen fifty. Rodney's mother has seen fifty, and uh, <laughs> yes. they're rewatching them. They're rewatching. You know, my, my my dad's my dad's seen a few. So oh, I mean, really? You know, hey, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, we can add into that. Is around. your father an Eagles fan? He is. He's a big Eagles fan. Yeah. So he got me. He got me into him at an early age, and. Here I am losing to the Jets, you know? Uh, it's all right. Listen, we all have those. Oh, uh, thank you. Happy 100 to us. Thank you, Alex. Guys, how thank many you. do you think we have a, do you think we have a thousand in us? How many, how many yeah. of these fucking things are we going to do? We can do a thousand? I think that we keep doing it until somebody writes us a check. Right. Well, I feel this way, right? Sense. You know that saying that you, uh, if you're a hero, you stay around long enough till you become the villain, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. That's right. If well, you I mean, do you enough see, shows, uh, eventually they'll be like, you know what? Who? Who are these guys? You know what? You guys come on in here. These guys are available. That makes sense. You guys see Joe, Joe Rogan, man. He's like number twenty three eighty four. You know, when you if you see like one of his videos, it's like that's yeah. the that's the episode number. It's always on. You know, that. that's what amateurs oh. do, right, Paul? Did you hear that's what amateurs do? Uh, that's, that's what, what Aaron told. That's what, us. what Aaron but, told us. But that. maybe it might have taken him to like a thousand before he got a deal. You know, I, you know, for all I know. I mean, did you guys know that Paul? But, did you guys know that Paul has still not accepted me as his connection on LinkedIn? He hasn't done it to me either, Paul. Oh, we're not friends Paul, on what's, what's going on, Paul? Are you using Are you using uh, LinkedIn? That's why I can't I tag I, you in the fucking post I, I, every week because you haven't accepted me as a friend. I really don't use LinkedIn. I'm don't going on obviously, right now. Paul. You can't say that on now. LinkedIn, Paul. You can't say that on LinkedIn. They'll go crazy on you. Oh, I can. Huh? I can. Paul, say how many it. times do you have to be on the show before you accept our friendship? You think it's another twelve? You have to spend a night at his house for a week. Exactly, man. Robin probably no, hasn't I, requested you either. Robin doesn't even know what LinkedIn is. He hasn't heard yeah, of it. You know what? The, people yeah. still like people like message me that from like five years ago. They're like, "Hey, Paul, I want to try and do something." You know, like work wise. I'm like, this happens every two years with the same people. I'm like, just email me, man. Just because I never check my messages, and then I get it like three months late. I'm like, dude, I'm sorry. I I just saw this. Like, just shoot me an email. I'm, I'm down for whatever. But like then if you want to keep a secret, then they're right? out. They're, just, they're like, you know, send it in a Facebook like, message, right? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, Facebook message. That's yeah. the that's the way to go. At every every seventy year old and sixty year old and yeah, what happened um, to Facebook? It's such an old person thing now. But I know this is kind of insider baseball, but we invite people to be guests on the show, and sometimes they want to talk to us before they come on the show. So yesterday I had one of those, and that, that's tangential to the story. She was saying that she gets hit on all the time on LinkedIn. Did you know that guys are hitting on girls? I've heard one of my employees told me this. Actually, two of them told me this. Um, and I didn't know I didn't know about this either because I'm like, what could you hit on? What could you possibly hit on? Like, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like, one that's the article you posted, right? right? One like headshot picture, and just <laughs> I know. You know, there's not. Yeah. I, I, that's why I we need LinkedIn been, dating. That's why I need LinkedIn dating. Like, I don't. <laughs> I think shooting your shots fine, but guys are shooting their shots all over the fucking place. Like <laughs> LinkedIn. Come yeah. on. God, yeah. that's uh, LinkedIn. It's weird. Like, oh my weird. god, she's an affiliate marketer, and you just start getting more and more aroused. You start reading <laughs> through the, you know, everything else. She's yeah, that, like, oh my god, god. she's in, oh my she's god. endorsed for SEO services. Uh, you know? Uh, uh, just, what's your commission yeah. percentage baby mm. close down that laptop it's getting hot in here <laughs> oh my yeah. god that's crazy LinkedIn. no but I've heard, I've heard that and actually one of my employees actually has a fake birthday on facebook because yeah. she doesn't want people to find her through her birthday wow and and uh what else did she say she did something else but apparently i didn't realize this apparently girls get messages on every platform from from random dudes and like might not be a lot, but it happens, and they're and apparently they're they're pretty grody messages. They're like, they're about. Like, I get a lot of stupid messages on LinkedIn, but they're usually about me. Uh, they're like, "Hi, I really enjoy your work," and then it's a forty-five page or a forty-five paragraph 
diatribe uh, on what they've done right. and who they've helped. And right. I don't even know what they're talking about. I wrote one guy back and I said, I put this in chat GPT to decipher. I still don't know what you're talking about. It doesn't know what you're talking about. It doesn't, nobody knows. It, oh. if somebody messaged me on LinkedIn and the, and the subject line was like, you want to fuck? And then I saw it. I read that. I might be down. I might read it. I might actually. Maybe that's where we're going wrong. That's you know, the message I, we need to see. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, feel I know because I, I want to be flat. I want to be flattered like all these girls. I want people hating on me on all these well, all these channels. You know? Yeah. See, that's that's and the wild thing about happening. life. Because I know I've said this before, but the one time I was hit on by a gay guy it was the greatest ten minutes of my life. Like he just made me feel special it's, and alive. Really, you know, really I, good, I, I yeah. felt pretty. You know? But like girls get this all the time, so it, it's meaningless to all them. Like it's all goes to them. I would be so flattered if somebody tried to fuck me through LinkedIn, but no one's trying to. No one even cares. They get it. So much they complain about it. You know the other thing I, I, I get, Eric? Yeah. It's never happened show. to me once, and they're never complaining once. about how often. It's people will say to me oftentimes, what's the cost for the show? Oh, yeah. And I'm like. N nudes. Is that what you're saying? 999. No, no, no. No, no nudes, like, Rodney. Nudes. People will reply back to us, and they'll say, you know, hey, listen, I'd love to be on the show, but how much do, do I have to pay you? You go, like, listen, no payment necessary. All we need is some feet pics. That's all. For Robin. That's right. You know what I'm telling them? I'm going to say, right. you know what? This is the payment. I work like the IRS. I need Target gift cards. <laughs> go over to Target, right? Remember that Pack phone three. name? That lady, the lady was like, he wants Target gift cards. The IRS? Mm -hmm. That's how they operate. That's how we're paying for the war in Ukraine. <laughs> it's with Target. <laughs> they're like, give Zelensky. Hold, 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 hold dollar only, too. Hold yeah, dollar like, only. They're, they're yeah. like, hey, Joe, don't forget the gift cards. To mm. Zelensky to Target. He loves Zelensky loves Target. Oh my God, he can't get enough of it. All right, let's. Uh, we we have some Instagram stories to get to, but um, yeah, today on our of them. oh shit, a shit ton. Today on our hundredth uh, episode anniversary. I don't know if you guys know this, but today is National Hagfish Day. Are you familiar with the hagfish? No. Okay, I good. Can't say I am. Can't say okay. I am. It is voted. Uh, it perennially wins the ugliest fish award. Mm. This is it close up. Mm. Um, Very close. There's a theme to today's show, and I think it's God's uh, God's lovely creatures. This is one of them. Uh, when hagfish get scared or excited, they emit a goo, a very viscous goo <laughs> that protects them. Okay. Mm. Now, sometimes this goo <laughs> can get spilled on top of cars when they're transporting oh seventeen. God. Yeah, I know. So there was a truck that was transporting seventeen hundred ha seventeen hundred hagfish in a yes. crash. I know. Look at this. It does, doesn't this hark of intelligent design? Doesn't this what? suggest that there's some god up there just making these things? Oh, they're, like, man, they're like, man, way too complex. Way too complex. State lines. <laughs> what was that what, right? What the hell? What are they using them for? What are they? What are they transporting these things for? I have no idea. To a zoo? <laughs> like, what? Did, why does this place have so many hagfish? Well, Two hundred and fifty-one people yeah. are excited about it. Like, is somebody buying goldfish next to this tank? And then they're like, oh, my God, I want that hagfish. Like, no, <laughs> one down there. And the guy's got to, like, get the net and try and get the, the one yeah. hagfish he wants. All of a sudden, everyone's covered in a viscous yeah. goo. Yeah, I don't they're know. Like, man, you cannot haul, yeah. They're like, ma'am, you cannot haul 50 pounds of mucus across state lines, please. <laughs> Relax. Yeah. That is, uh, that is so wild. Oh, God. Hagfish goo. Look at that shit. Oh. I'm asking for a friend, but is this goo skin friendly? Uh, uh yeah. It, well, I don't want to find. Oh, she's touching it. It's skin whitening, Robin. If all you need to do, you want to get yeah. white, you throw Bingo. some hagfish goo on your face. Doesn't this suggest though that like this looks like one of those markets where you buy things to eat? Doesn't it? Is this a pet? Yeah. Is this a pet store? Is this a pet go? Yeah, this is definitely like a somewhere in like China. Yeah, one of those countries where you just buy and eat stuff like this. I knew you're this gonna go. There. This is at the Trader Joe and Trader Joe's in China. <laughs> yeah, no, but it, they have they only have frozen there though. I, but it is yeah. it's still good. It's still oh, good. someone's eating this. There's I, no there's no question that somebody's eating this. Look at those fucking teeth. It's crazy. I mean, yeah, I was gonna say teeth. instead of the mucus, maybe use your teeth. Ah, oh, they're blind. They're blind. Teeth they just the, they sniff around the ocean to find something to mm. shove into that hole. I guess. I don't know. Right. Teeth are the best <laughs> part. The teeth and the gums are the sweetest meat. On the, oh. on the hagfish. Very good. Very good. <laughs> How do you like to prepare? You do a rub or a brine? I, I'll brine it overnight. Yeah. <laughs> and Trash I'll, it know, never. I'll spice it up. I'll put it in the oven on about a real low temp. Yeah. Because you don't want to cook it hours. above like 150, right? Because you want it to be tender. You want it to be tender. And I'm telling you, that that's sweet. That, that lit meat. That's the sweetest meat you'll ever have. That's you'll what they say. I've more. heard that. They say it's the flame and yawn of the sea. And I just it haven't. It, yeah. It's almost like the gizzard, the turkey gizzard. It's, uh, it's turkey uh, gizzard. something. <laughs> it's delicate. That's an acquired taste. 
<laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, that's true. We don't eat faces. Although I did buy beef cheeks once, and I didn't end up cooking them. Have you ever eaten a cow's face? Eaten a cow's face? I thought that was. I thought those were different set of cheeks. Oh, was I on the ass? I thought it was the yeah, face. Yeah. I no no. I don't think so. Maybe Robin, oh, can you fact check that for us? Yeah, usually uh, somebody can be. Yeah, is beef cheeks uh, face or ass? <clears throat> I, I, I can do it. Hold on. <laughs> Have you guys ever tried I have Lengua? A computer. All right, Lengua's pretty What's nice. That? Lengua, Lengua, beef what? tongue or ox tongue. Oh, oh no, no, no man, get out of here. You on drugs? I did have a beef um, tongue taco, and it tastes a lot like bologna. I know that's probably you're not going to believe right. this, Eric. It is from the facial muscle, mu muscle, not from the. Not, not from the buttocks. You were okay. right. I mean, not, from the not that I have a problem with eating cow ass. I mean, and I think anything in a cow is going to be delightful, but I thought I was going to eat face. Well, I think the tail is there is or the, the, the buttocks is called the round. Oh, that's the round. Well, what's the rump then? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Some, yeah, somehow, <laughs> somehow eating face. We need a butcher. <laughs> like, can we get a butcher on the show? Oh, fuck. All right, what do we got, Robin? You want to go to the news? Speaking of God's precious creatures, just God doing God's work, nothing, no mistakes. No mistakes from God. What do we got? We're, we're a little bit late to the party on this one. Um, first off, is anyone French? No. no. I'm assuming not. Okay. Um, so are you guys familiar with the term French shower? Uh, oh. Well, I know, yeah. That's, you know. Yeah. <laughs> golden so, brown shower, golden shower. It's yeah. when instead of taking a real shower, you douse yourself with perfume. Uh, so it's not very hygienic. And mm. I, I'd say like the idiom exists for a reason. They have a different name for that here in uh, where I'm in Americas. Yeah. Which, whichever yeah. race you hate, you can just say blank shower. And they're like, oh, yeah. 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 I know that's, what you're that's what I was going to say. You're smelly people. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Well, so it's come to full fruition. Um, Paris now has a bed bug pandemic. Um, and it's so bad that hundreds of uh, beds are just being tossed onto the street. Um, mm -hmm. So. The thing about uh, bed bugs is once you get them into your house, you're fucked because they're so hard to get rid of. Um, they can survive without eating for 400 days. <laughs> That's a lot of fucking days. So you I'll just have you, to wait 400 days. Yeah, you got to wait them out. I'll tell you what this though. They, they had a feast on this poor fella here. Look at this. This is a, how, first of all, this begs, the, how the fuck do you sleep through this? He yeah, slept through 800 just... bed bug bites. I think yeah. the guy was on naked and afraid before the, you know, before the <laughs> yeah, I've mistake. seen that. I, I don't know about bed bugs. Jesus, that's uh, terrible. That's yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's insane. It was like I was awoken in the middle of the night eight hundred times. I, how the fuck? Well, okay. I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot. I mean, to, at that point, why did they just carry the bed away? Like that, the animals might just carry the bed out. I don't know why this grosses me out so oh, much, but this is a bed gosh. bug infestation. Look at the. Ugh. so again god's lovely creatures here they're little tiny vampires who suck on your blood while you sleep and communicate through farting that's um this is once again <laughs> just uh one of god's magnificent creatures look at these fucking things oh <laughs> um i'll say this about robin's first story it was a an entire article about nothing i've never seen anybody write so many words about absolutely fucking nothing so they essentially the first person comes on and says listen i know that there's a big problem but there's not but bed bugs are as you know as prevalent as they've always been and the media's blowing it up into a big story and i got to think remember murder hornets do you remember a couple mm -hmm. years ago murder hornets were coming yeah. Yeah, so then I tried to find sense. a chart about all media scares. I don't remember all of these. Like in the 2000s, I guess asteroids were an issue. I do remember bird flu. Ebola was certainly a thing. Killer wasps. We re-ran re that with murder uh, hornets. Mad cow mm -hmm. disease, MERS, millennium bug. I don't remember that one. SARS, I do. Swine flu, vaccines and autism and violent video games, and then Zika. So really, is it bed bugs just the latest and long line of bullshit media stories? I don't it's see COVID zone here. Well, they finally got it right. They finally nailed one. So COVID nice. coming through what, huge. Did you do you remember the? Uh, I think you missed one though. I think it might have been in 2018. So maybe maybe it's not on here. But it was the uh, it was the horde of migrants coming. Do you remember? Oh, the raping hordes of migrants. I the, remember. The, have, I have, 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 are they here? Or? I, they're still on their way. It's a long walk. Because I got to be honest, they could have walked to space by now. <laughs> <laughs> they could have Brutus. walked to the moon and back. And, and Dude, I mean, this is that wall. Right. It's that wall, man. That wall kept them. That, that wall, wall kept them up. for seven years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where are they walking it's, to? Yeah. You can't find a ladder. You can't find a ladder south of the border. It's very difficult. <laughs> ladder, ladder technology hasn't caught up. Very difficult. They what, can climb on each other's backs at this point and jump over the fence. Seven years? No. no. We've been walking since 2017. It's been six years. 
What if their passion went away from raping and just went into hiking? What if they just love walking at this point? They're just a bunch That's of guys walking around. They just I they're think like, like, ra- they like rape. They like raping way too much. I don't think it's going to They were like, you know hard. what they sat down one day and they were like raping or racing. Racing, raping and racing, racing and raping. Maybe it was <laughs> maybe it was a typo. They weren't raping hordes at all. They were just racing. They were racing they were hordes. Racing, they were racing hordes. Mm. Oh, we did learn that. Yeah, uh, that's yeah. true. Remember that uh, the the rich guy? He's putting his son's blood. Oh, yeah, it was Dana. Yeah. It was Dana from Star Trek. Remember? Wasn't that him? <laughs> was this a, this, uh, okay. Data. 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 <laughs> the Data. Data. Mortality is being a vampire, obviously. But this is just vile. Like, what the fuck? Gross, okay. Man. So I did learn in the articles that Robin did. Um, so there's a few ways to kill them. Uh, you, uh, 113 degrees kills them. So if you have yeah. enough money to heat your house up to 113 degrees, you can kill everything. Back in the olden days, they used to burn house, they just burn complete houses down because they couldn't do anything about it. Mm. And in London in the 1800s, they would just tell you to drink a whole bunch to sleep through the night. So it's been a problem for a while. Bed bugs have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I guess I'm assuming that they don't have this problem at hot yoga studios. <laughs> hot yoga is the only, you're safe. It's the only no. place you can get any relief. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh hold on i didn't want to pull up a picture you know what killed bed bugs though uh this ended the whole epidemic was um hold on it's processing it's loading you're gonna love it it's the ddt ddt uh remember jake roberts uses <laughs> yeah oh yeah yeah ddt came around in the 60s and 70s and wiped out bed bugs but then since we've outlawed ddt oh. uh bed bugs have come back i know so we gotta bring it back we gotta bring jake it back Robert, we gotta bring back jake snakes he's our only bring hope against bed bugs ddt is the only yeah. thing that we can uh yeah. um i don't know Jeez. i don't think i have anything else on this robin do you have any, any hot takes on Your bed bugs? hot take on it <laughs> do you have any hot take? we should have called the show nah, hot not takes. too much i know <laughs> Okay. Well, we can move on from away from bed bugs. What what else is in the news? Yeah. Tell so this next next story is a bit uh, poorly timed because we talked about how Europe has a bed bug uh, epidemic. Um, mm-hmm. So it's also a thing now that Americans are moving to countries like Italy. Uh, apparently, you can buy a three bedroom home that's uh, two and a half acres for one hundred and twenty three grand. That's a that's a wow. steal. Um, wow. So. This three-bedroom uh, house, an American family moved here because they're originally from Texas, and they're fed up because they had an abundance of angry people with guns. Mm. Um, I think you're close. The the woman moved here because her husband died, uh, and evidently this is a, a thing that's happening now, um, is that a bunch of single ladies are moving to Italy. So if anyone's interested in a bunch of gilfs, they're among the uh, Italian hills. So this house, though, you're right, three bedrooms, two and a half acres, 200 olive trees, and can I just show you the pictures they got of this? Somebody should be fired. There's two pictures in this article of the house. Here's stairs, and here's her living room. Doesn't that paint a nice picture of the Italian? Uh, yeah, great, great picture. It's beautiful. Mm. I like, uh, the, Andy, I like yes, that. The bowls outside for the stray cats and like the, you know, oh, I mean, it's, you it's, get all, it's gorgeous. Yeah, this is a, you're right. This, is, this outside has the makings of the crazy cat lady. Oh, absolutely. Yep. Well, yeah, she's, yeah, I, I mean, a single I can see lady it now. Her. Uh, Andy, to answer your question, yes, you're right. You can either uh, 113 degrees will kill them, or you can freeze them out. So either way, I mean, if you freeze them out, then you have a snack. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Oh, little crunchy bed bugs. Ivan is leaving. Mm. He's leaving tonight. You can so join this lady. Both of these ladies are grandmothers. Uh, no, no, the one, the one to the right uh, moved to Italy. The one to the left is the daughter. I got a daughter. Um, but as soon as her husband dies. Is this a Fox News story? No, it's, it's a CNN. It's a, it's been a slow news day. There no, are two I, I got to be honest. Stories. I got to be honest. I feel like there's something going on. There's other things going on that should be in the news, but, but this, these are dominating it. Yeah, I mean, so her, she has a bunch of complaints. Would you like to hear them? Um, the Italians are very aggressive drivers. She doesn't like mm-hmm. that very much. Um, there's a language barrier. So she, when she goes to the hair salon, a um, little tough to translate. Um, wait, and wait, she, wait. She goes to the hair salon? That's me, but yeah. <laughs> Apparently, she hasn't been to the hair salon, so maybe she didn't know how to get to it. That's she was a windy day. 1987, I think she was there. She said, well, I, can tell you, I can tell you she's definitely not coloring her hair, and I know for a fact. Look at mine. <laughs> oh, that's that's real, baby. Oh, it's the slowest news day in the history of fucking news, news days. It's as if there's nothing going on in the world, yeah, I couldn't even believe it. Yeah, can we stay away from that though? Uh, so she's upset also that there's uh, siestas. She when she wants to go out for lunch, she can't find anything because everyone's taking a nap. So these are these are the complaints. 
But all in all, one hundred twenty-three thousand dollars for this living room. I mean, I think it's all right. Right. And so she and just has the living room and the, and the deck. Is that what you're saying? All we have here. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> just bed, bug, bed, bed bug infested living room, probably. So she has this little terrace. She walks up. That's the room. That's yeah. it. Is there a bucket for, uh, or is that, is that out? Here's the other thing I was thinking. You said she has 200 olive trees. Yeah. I'm no businessman, but mm -hmm. maybe I am. I would go in the olive business. You probably should, right? Yeah. You could be, uh, yeah, be an olive man. I'm you an, an olive, olive magnet. Olive magnet. It's hear me out though. That's gonna be a lot of work. Two hundred olive trees. Don't you have to? I don't know. Pick work. up the olives. Harvest the olives. There's gonna be Drake mm -hmm. olives. I mean, this this was a story from a few years ago. I don't know if it's still that relevant, but a lot of the olive oil you get from Italy is not. It's not pure olive oil. They mix it with different oils, like just sunflower like oil and stuff. Mm -hmm. just like exactly. The they cut it, but it, yeah, it's yeah, the ma it. it's the mafia controls this. Like so, if if you're selling like olive oil, like you know, you're paying them like a little bit of a tribute. You know, a they're big. taking it and they're they're like, yeah. And I don't know. I'm, this is in every region, I'm sure. This was like a story I saw in like 60 Minutes. Why was I watching 60 Minutes? Because football ended. Yeah, football it ended, goes right and, in. And it just went right in. And sometimes I like 60 Minutes. I'm not going to lie. It's interesting. No, so I I mean, like, that's how I started watching it. Yeah. So I'm from uh, originally a place called Lynn, Massachusetts. It's a uh, inner city outside of Boston. I think the only famous person from Lynn, Massachusetts, is a correspondent from 60 Minutes, Leslie Stahl. Are you familiar with her? Oh yeah, we've heard. Yeah, yeah, of course. Stahl. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. She had a big interview with with DT. There you go, Leslie Stahl. She's a uh, Barbara Walters esque. You know, she's of that vein, I believe. Mm -hmm. Sure, she's sure. been on there for a long time. She's famous. It, yeah. it, it, really, an underrated program. <laughs> totally, know, it's so informative. Program. Uh, Rodney, <laughs> Ivan has a plan for these two. <laughs> like, I like it. <laughs> well, I mean, the older one is definitely <laughs> single. I don't know about the daughter, but yeah, the one well, on the right, we can be certain she's single. <laughs> she's she's certainly single. The one on the but left, you, I mean, is she a widow? <laughs> she is, yeah, but that's not uh, what you uh, were insinuating, yeah. you dick. No, you stop it. <laughs> Man, as soon as I met her, she would we'd get her to the colorist. Oh my god, so mean. So mean. Um, Maybe me too. Maybe me too. <laughs> Glass Make out. me blonde. The fent so we were talking about fentanyl in the green room with the uh, cocaine, but they're cutting olive oil too. I this is why we need regulation in the world. This is why I'm anti-libertarianism. The you market do need, doesn't you do correct need regulation. Itself. Of course, you need you need a lot of regulation. regulation. There needs to be yeah. olive oil regulation. There needs to be cocaine right. regulation. Please, will somebody right. do this? Right. Yeah. yeah. You don't. The last thing you want to do is go to the grocery store, buy olive oil, then go buy an eight ball of cocaine, only to find out a yeah. third of it's fentanyl. Right. You know, it's, it's terrible. Is there a I cocaine? Mean, it, nobody. Nobody should have to deal with that. Nobody should. Have to <laughs> oh. deal with that. You know, know your olive have, oil is already bad. You know? I know here that you can get a testing. Talk kit about for a bad drugs. day in New York. You call a number, they'll send you a testing kit for the drugs. You can buy fentanyl testing kits on That's Amazon, good. but hear me out. If you're a couple lines deep, you're going to stop testing your drugs. You know what I mean? You're going like, to stop testing. Yeah. Yeah. Of yeah. course. See, it's the same with beers. Like after your first beer, you stop giving a shit about everything. What do you think? You, you just right. blow a line. Y'all, let me test the second line. No. You're just it, and go. also, if you're buying it from the same guy, you're going to test it the first time. And, and then, then never you're just going to trust that it's always all right, right? Yeah. Be, because the guy's always getting it from the same guy who's always all right himself. And that guy's yeah. above him who's always all right. And, yep. and so, yeah, you're going to die probably. Um, Definitely. And this, I think we look at the weed industry. Weed has gotten so good. It's gotten too good. Like medicinal right. weed is out of fucking control. Imagine if we applied that to cocaine and, and heroin. Like imagine the quality if we got scientists. If we got oh. science involved in drug making instead of like hacks in their basement. Mm. Oh. We know we've seen. I, what, I, I, I'd be all for legalizing drugs. I, I got, I got no problem with it. Legalize all the mm. drugs. Imagine, I, I, imagine know, if you had like, there's no fentanyl, there's no no cutting agents, no baby right. laxatives. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, imagine if you had a real Walter White. Yeah, yeah, but like they're like this is this is Dr. Fauci, and we've got Walter here. Walter's yeah. working <laughs> on the drugs. Fauci's working on the on the cures. <laughs> right. The secretary of methamphetamine. I mean, can you imagine how good that shit would be? Oh my god! They're like it's it's Eisenberg. <laughs> yeah, but he's he's got a seat in the cabinet. He's oh right, yeah, exactly. Him? Someday, maybe we should come up with olive oil test kits. You know, <laughs> the fentanyl test kits are out there. Well, there are people who are, they're big into their extra virgin, man. They don't want to fuck around. They don't want. No. What if you, you have a nut allergy? Well, you get like you know peanut oil mixed in. Here's there. what we do. You know, right, that's just as bad as fentanyl. Paul just gave me an idea. We make yeah. we make test kits for olive oil, and it goes virgin, extra virgin, extra extra virgin, yeah, untouched. 
Oh shit! On top, like like, <laughs> like, on like top. veal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want some untouched olive oil. Untouched Andy, that's a good, that's a absolutely. great point, but they've done away with all the real good feely drugs. I guess okay. I'll uh, like uh, what are those uh, opioids people seem to like, but that's not the kind of high I like. I don't like the nodding off high. No. I like the. Yeah, I, I don't want to go to sleep. Yeah. No, Plus I the problem. Party. The problem is those drugs become too expensive. People get addicted, then they start buying heroin because mm -hmm. they're addicted as fuck and they can't spend money on on Percocets and everything else. Right, and then they die because they're spending. I know they're pressed pills too. Everyone's got fake pills going around. So it's like yeah. you don't know what you get. And I do think you fentanyl, uh, yeah, they I guess we got science involved and they, they just made shit too good. I don't want the fentanyl version of Coke. Can't we just perfect the Coke? Like stop putting no. baby powder in it and baby ass. I, I that I agree. I don't want the fentanyl version. Of we have a challenge for the it, drug dealer. Have it. What if I have it one day? I'm like, actually, I do want this. We yeah, have this a challenge for the yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean here's a challenge for the drug makers, the illegal ones. Yeah. Mm. We challenge you to do your best. <laughs> that part product's not going to cut it anymore. It's out. Get out of here. Yeah. We need a code of ethics. Like, did you hear about the the the, uh, the Chapitos? It said mm -hmm. no more fentanyl in the drugs. We're killing the clients. Oh, it's sad. It's sad. It took them years to catch on. I would have. So they're self-regulating. Fine. You're, yeah, you're right. You're right. And you're going to do regulations, make it a certain part per million fentanyls allowed. Like okay. almost like canned foods. Like you're allowed to have a certain amount of like you know whatever. Yeah, dog like insects in fall in. You know yeah. every year. Oh, chocolate. Like yeah, chocolate is disgusting because they can't get the insects out of it. But you know, there's yeah. a certain amount of shit that's allowed on steak because the FDA. Because uh, there's pus in milk because you're not supposed. To, but yeah, I mean, I'm willing to deal with a little bit. I just don't want to die from a casual. Yeah, diet. yeah, yeah. You just don't want to die. Yeah. You know. Is that too much to ask, Robin? Do you think? Do you guys have fentanyl in uh, your drug? Um. I'd like to think so because there are a lot of losers here. Yeah. Yeah. The barefoot bandits out there peddling fentanyl laced cocaine. Typical. Yeah. All right. You want to do one more before we get to the old Instagram stories? Where we all giggle. <laughs> the giggling portion of the show. Giggle our faces all. <laughs> what else? So this we is have? an update on a, a story that we already kind of covered. Um, so Britney Spears recently was interviewed and she's promoting her upcoming memoir. It's called The Woman and Me. And with this memoir, she's now ready to come out about her life story. Um, so I feel like several people, including us, deserve an explanation as to why she is the way she is. So in her defense, she talks about um, her parents and the government involved with infantilizing. Now, that's a big word. I know it <laughs> means keeping her from maturing. So I, I'd like to like steer this back to Eric's point about homeschooled kids. Oh, um, yeah, she's feral. Mm. She is feral. She's a feral child. Um, listen, Robin it has happen. become a journalist. I know. <clears throat> You've turned into a journalist. <laughs> So the other part, too, I don't know if you mentioned, uh, I guess we're smushing the two stories together. Do you know that she said she, she had an abortion with Justin Timberlake's baby? That was another. This is a big yeah, revelation. Yes, I did hear that. That's Lenny Kravitz behind yeah, her. Did you that. see that? Oh, that's yeah, great. Lenny Kravitz. Oh, and that's um, Mila Djokovic, right? To the, yeah, uh, that's uh, right. Man. That's right. The, the right. early 2000s were a hell of a time to be alive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll say this, though. Prime Britney Spears. Oh, my God. Like, she's... <sighs> Yeah, I, honestly, the only the explanation person. she owes me in this memoir is why she shaved her head. I, I otherwise, well, she I, I she covers it in there. I have a question: What is she doing with Danny Masterson? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't he look like Danny Masterson there? Honestly, a little I, bit. Okay, I understand why chicks are into like, uh, you know, obviously Brad Pitt. Um, George Clooney is very masculine looking. I, this look, I, I uh, you, you find Justin Timberlake? I, I don't think he's an attractive guy. And like he, he looks, looks like a turtleneck. Wearing the turtleneck, I, which just it just feels like a really weak guy's on your back trying to strangle you all day. Yeah, yeah, right. It's <laughs> gonna be <laughs> my. Right right I will say though yeah. that this yeah. this look is like really hip now. Like a lot of the teens are dressing up and looking their hair like this. Like right? Justin Timberlake. It's it's resurging. No, I mean like now. Yeah, I don't like, like it. Britney Spe like Britney Spears in that way. I didn't like his look, Leon. You see Lenny Kravitz in the back? I would that's, say, that's that's a good look. Lenny Kravitz looks fucking yeah. rock and roll, right? That's... He looks badass. He looks oh, like if he a chick wants to bang Lenny look. Kravitz, I'm like, I almost want to bang Lenny Kravitz. So, But like Timberlake? What is it about this? I don't understand. And you could say, well, Timberlake can sing, so can Lenny. Yeah, Thank you. Cool. You right? know what the grand irony here, though, is that she gave up Timberlake's baby, but she kept two of this guy's babies. <laughs> that's... that's... Mm. Nice. Did you know that, Robin? Did you know that's uh, the baby daddy? You yeah, know, Justin like Timberlake wrote an album about her sleeping with this guy. Remember Jeez. when he Timberlake? was like, "Cry me a river." That song's about him and it's about whatever oh, this guy's name is and Britney Spears sleeping because together because he was one of Britney's dancers. Monster, yeah. Kevin, <laughs> but Kevin Federline, that's his name. Kevin Federline was a dancer. 
was one of their dancers. <laughs> no. He hasn't been uh, dancing in a while. He's been no, enjoying cookies. Know. Yeah, he yeah. likes his know. cookies. He yeah. loves his cookies. But look, look what uh, he dodged a knife. I guess. I mean, come on. <laughs> that was how does this happen <laughs> to him? All right, I wouldn't mind dodging that knife. I mean, I'd be I, there dodge. I, I dodge. I got yeah, she, mean, she literally on her Instagram, I follow her, but she literally stays in this room. Like one time she was in a different room and this lady made a comment. She's like, I'm so glad to see she finally broke out of the room. Like she's always in this room. She's always dancing and she's always wearing the worst clothes. They're terrible. But the point like she'll be sweating in them and she just looks a mess. She's still pretty hot though. In terms she's, of like, with, as far as crazy. No, she's pretty, but I really mean, she's just like, like, what are you doing? You know what I mean? Well, She'll be like in a bathing suit, right? She'll yeah. change like five times and she does the same dance over and over to the worst songs. Well, she's trapped in a living room. She's with just a cell phone. Yeah. Now, I, to, to be fair, I have not seen her on Insta. I, I haven't seen any of the, what she does. I don't I think Paul uses pictures. social media. <laughs> I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm really not. He's never on LinkedIn. He's, he's never on Instagram. He, never. He's no. like, what's my, what's my login? I'm, I'm still, I'm still on Facebook wishing people happy birthday every day. Oh, uh, that's, 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 like, that's, that's, that's sweet. That's all right. That's a nice. It guy. is. I mean, yeah. yeah. You do what you Somebody gets pissed off one day and they start shooting shit up. Guess who they're not killing? The guy who always listens on the happy birthday. I, I think. <laughs> That's right. So, you're I mean, like, you know what? Paul said happy birthday. Uh, Robin, I know what you're saying. No, she's not a 10, but she's like, if she's 42, I think. I mean, that's she looks great in 42, right? I uh, mean, yeah. Right. Hell yeah. Come you're on. 25, so you're out there hanging out with 25 year olds. I mean, I'm telling you, I'm out in the real world at soccer games. 42 year old chicks don't look like this. They look like think, me, and I look terrible. You think that's, Britney Spears has a LinkedIn? Do uh, <laughs> you want to get her on the show? <laughs> I'd love to message her. Hey, Brittany, we want to and talk she, to you about your book. Imagine yeah. if we got her, man, we would be, we might get Taylor Swift next. Exactly. That's the, <laughs> that's the latter. I think we can just fit Christina Aguilera and who's the uh, Jessica Simpson, then Taylor Swift. No, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. There's, uh, a, there, there's a, there's a hierarchy. There's a hierarchy. We could probably what, get most of the members of NSYNC on Infant here. Infanticide? Is that what she claims? No, that's when you kill a baby. It's in that's, that's what yeah. I that's what I thought I was said. Yeah, I was like. But wait, she said the government was doing it to her and her and her dad. Do you think the government? Just, you think Joe Biden's like, what are we going to do to Britney next? Yeah. Right? He's got, <laughs> yeah. uh, her, her, her parents have been killing babies for God knows how. Could you imagine? Yeah. Yeah. Eric, can you imagine in the 2000s, Barack Obama was like, okay, guys, so we've covered everything. All right, now what's going on with Brittany? <laughs> it's the government, Brittany. They're all involved. You're going to get her locked up. Yeah. Like, she's bitching about being in the conservatorship, but this is like you were shaving your head and whacking cars with umbrellas. Like, somebody had to step I mean, in. Somebody to, had to, to be do fair. Something. And this After is, this is just which one, photo, one photo. Yeah, one photo. Yeah, public. but she there, she went on a tirade. She was, she was losing yeah. her. Shit. No, no, no. I mean, one, yeah. one that's in in public. I mean, this probably happened way more than we think it did. And uh, that's a great even, point. Even like, this exact. Thing. Yes, it's yeah. like uh, on to catch a predator. Every time one of those guys be like, "It's my first time bringing over my first tart lemonade and condoms to a thirteen year old." No, it's not. It's the first time you're caught. <laughs> First time I ever considered. My favorites were always the naked guys. <laughs> they get right down to business. Yeah, they'd be like, you know what? And he, he would come in and naked, and, and then uh, Chris Matthews or whatever his name is would come in and be like, uh, what are you doing here? And he'd be like, I, 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 and I'm like, dude, uh, like, how do you keep a straight face? He's naked. <laughs> There's a grown man, right, with condoms oh, and alcohol and drugs right. naked in the front, and he's like, oh, I, I'm at the wrong house. Oh, really? <laughs> fool, fool, yeah, fool, I think so. I think you be at, unless fool you're home, you're at the wrong and, house. Uh, right jesus christ uh, unless Somebody's you're in your own people. house you're in the wrong place cowboy yeah. oh she yeah. said 13 i thought she, i thought it was 31 i have dyslexia sir i'll be leaving i am so sorry <laughs> I, imagine one of the guys first. was like you're not gonna believe this i have a fetish for you i've been waiting to meet you chris are you gonna that, get naked now too that's how that you turn it good. around like i'm not here for that the is. girl chris that i'm is. here for you yeah. these people are gonna this film us a, yeah it's like reverse entrapment almost you know because you're like you're getting chris now man you're like fuck Imagine you were a process server. You're like, Chris, I had to serve you. Are you Chris Matthews? Yeah. You here's your roll papers. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's like, actually, I don't know about no that girl, but I know girl. you're here. That would have been a good tactic, man. If someone did that because that would have thrown him off. That guy's so just yeah. straight, straight edge. Like, I feel like that would have yeah. thrown him off so bad. If you were like, Chris, actually, man, I'm all about you. And I can tell yeah. you know you're a homo. I know you're a homo. <laughs> I think it's about time for like, <laughs> You I can't mean, say that. I, I, I wasn't expecting that. You can't no. say no, me either. No, no. You just need to gently caress his face, and then the, the, the message will get across. That was my move with Chris <laughs> yeah. Matthews. 
Was that his name, Chris? Ma- no, Chris what you Hansen. do is you go like this. Chris Hansen. Chris Hansen. Yeah. Oh, Chris, wait, Chris Matthews. Who's Chris Matthews? Who is I don't that? Know. Did somebody Chris say Chris Matthews? Matthews? I think I that's know, Clay Matthews' think... real young brother. Maybe. Oh no, Clay Chris Matthews, Matthews was the guy from CNBC or NBC. Oh right, right. No, this is Chris Hansen. This is. Yeah, oh, sorry, Chris I thought we could get him on the show. He hasn't done shit. Yeah, he got fired for touching somebody. No, that was, that was Jared from Subway. How many people? Uh, oh, oh, Jared from Subway was touching Dang. a lot of things. Is it is it, is, is it meme wars? That's meme wars time. You ready? All, All right, right Paul, boys. I got some bangers this week. You ready? All right, oh, buckle yeah. up. Here we go. Uh, let's see. These are some real. These are some treasures. Oh, uh, this is um. <laughs> ah, shit! I gotta go mute again. This is a gift. <laughs> Bobby, don't Bobby, oh, he lied, oh shit. Bobby, don't fail on a bank. God, Bobby, how about I get you up? <laughs> I don't know if it's the ending, but here, can we watch this one more time? <laughs> Bobby, don't Bobby, oh, he lied, oh shit. Bobby, don't fail on a bank. God, Bobby, how about I get you <clears throat> People falling will never not be funny. It's I, always I just, funny. America's Home never. Videos used to just brighten my life. America's Funniest Home Videos. Just, oh, just people, another I, endorsement. I love people for, falling. Uh, another endorsement for Trex. You know, you know, wood rods, you, you get termites and stuff like that. It's just Trex. It's yeah, a little spend, bit more. You know, spend the extra money. It's going to last forever. It's very sturdy. Yep. But mm-hmm. people getting hit in the crotch and people falling down is just endlessly entertaining to me. <laughs> The good times ever end. I was at a fraternity party one time, and a kid was sitting on a on an edge like that, similar to what that lady did. And (laughs) the damn thing fell. He was on the top floor. He fell in the bushes. Literally thirty minutes later, I seen him back upstairs with a Bud Light. I said, "Wow, (laughs) Superman." (laughs) So who knows, man? Who knows? (laughs) Me, I wouldn't have survived. But you know what? Yeah, they they never show the aftermath of that guy. Who knows? Yeah, magic of youth, I guess. There we go. This is a make unnecessary journeys. But I gotta go to the stool, lady. It doesn't look that bad outside. Don't take risks on treacherous roads. Look at all the cars behind you. It looks fine. <laughs> and don't swim in the sea. Lady, it's 10 o'clock at night. Who's swimming in the sea? It's 10 o'clock at night, lady. People have been spotted in the water here in Black Rock and Salt Hill, both today and yesterday. <laughs> what the? All right, I'm, stay- I'm staying in. <laughs> stay on home. <laughs> I'm gonna stay on home, guys. I don't yeah, know why. Don't don't swim in the sea. Who the fuck the in the middle sea. of winter? The sea. <laughs> Not even the ocean. The sea. The ocean. Well, I... It doesn't even make any sense. I wasn't prepared for the ending. Oh, you really have to warn people not to swim in the sea. Robin, you ever swam in the sea? <laughs> What is the sea? I think no. the sea. I, this, I take my chance with the sea. The, the waves aren't as big. Eric, you know, when you put the kids to sleep at night, do you say to them, listen, <laughs> I, you need any water, it's okay. The <laughs> night light's on. Do not swim in the sea, children. <laughs> Stay in your bed. <laughs> Whatever you do, it's dangerous out there. Stay away from the sea. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why hey, that's Dad, the best the sea. Not the sea, please, dear God. It's the a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> it's the sea. I don't know why that's no, I mean, who was who at the sea this, this summer? This yeah, did summer anyone go seaside? Yeah. Saying that was funnier yeah. than getting hit with the stop Yeah, the sea. <laughs> oh my God. Unless <laughs> I was like, what is she, the sea? Stay oh. away from the sea. Oh, it was like some, about. Some, some like stupid movie, the sea. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why that tickles me yeah. so much. All right. Um, uh, do you guys like Pac-Man at all? Does Pac-Man speak to yourself? I, I, I like it. Okay. Well, I don't think you like it as much as this fella, but let's nope. see. <laughs> Man. The drool will be there, and he'll be reaching in his pockets instead of for a condom. He'll be reaching for tokens. Quarter, 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 quarter. Hello. How are you? Might I perhaps ask you for some quarters that I may offer them to the great yellow one? Certainly, certainly. I can keep the great yellow one from going through my wall again, right? Sorry about that. This is really hard on the buttons. I feel bad for the machine. You know. Thank God I'm not a Pac-Man machine. Right, right. No, no, okay. <laughs> I should destroy you with my Pac-Man now. Okay. <laughs> Tim has spent $10,000 in quarters alone, playing every day on his lunch break. Yeah, he's possessed. Yeah, he's possessed. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. In spite of playing Pac-Man since he was seven years old, 
Tim has yet to master the game. <laughs> when the holy semicircle of life meets his demise, in the melting way he does, it always brings in me a feeling that maybe I could have done something more. Maybe I could have turned left instead of right. Pac-Man! No! Clyde tried to bite Pac-Man! Clyde bite Pac-Man! Why Clyde bite Pac-Man? Uh, he's he's got a girlfriend. He's got a girlfriend, and he, he was playing yeah. at home too. I, I guess he was playing at home on a console. It looks like. I mean, it's well, not I was gonna just say you don't need to spend ten grand. You can just buy it for twenty bucks. Uh, you know, what I was gonna say I did a little research on that story, and you know what? A Pac Man machine, like one the one that they had in the store, there was like three thousand dollars. The, oh, the whole thing, wow. and you don't even have to put wow. no coins in it. Right. Wow. Well, they should so be knows? charging that guy like ten bucks to use it. I feel like the depreciation on that machine from that man. Is like oh I, I I feel he's got to be like a twenty dollar a play for him. Can yeah. we just talk I, about the, the pizza shop owners? Or I was gonna say they're they jacked by their fucking yeah. minds. I was gonna say they were yeah. they should have been on Jersey Shore. I used to go to a roast beef place and the guys were jacked. I don't know what it is about jacked guys serving sandwiches. Is that do you guys know this is a subculture? I, I, dude, I I think. Did you ever a, go into I GNC? The, the guys like this, or it's either an eighty year old lady. Yeah, yeah. the guys right, either right. the guy either looks like Ronnie right, Coleman no or, or it's grandmother. Right, right. Mm -hmm. right. you know, and, and either and, way, either and, way, are you a gold card member? You know, you oh, yeah, yeah. No, and, and, I don't want to Here's the best card. part. Oh, yeah, and this is the best part, right? I'll tell you my favorite part. The guy that's jacked up will always be like, What are you trying to do? <laughs> like, oh, you know, this or that. He's like, You need the lady's like, I have no idea. You right, have your right. phone, look it up. Mm -hmm. Right. What's fucked up about GNC too is that it's like it's selling light versions of the things we really want. We really want steroids because they work and they're efficient. But right. what you're doing is selling fake versions of steroids for a lot of fucking money. Like hey, Robin, you're jacked up. What do you take? You got a stack? What's your stack? <laughs> stack, yo. I I used to actually, but I only took testosterone. Um, Wait, like a you beginner can just get cycle. testosterone in the Philippines? You can't get that you shit. You can, in. you can. Um, I'm pretty sure you can in America as well. Um, where but we have we have like the Filipino Amazon. That's where I got it off of. It's pretty Holy available. Shit. Shockingly, dude, I'm gonna um, just take a trip to, to the Philippines just to shop on Amazon. So you're saying it's on yeah. Etsy? <laughs> it probably <laughs> is. A lot of things on Etsy. My God. So the reason why it's so available now is because a lot of um, trans men buy it as like medication so like it's a okay. loophole that uh straight guys that want to get jacked just can use mm. holy shit i'm listening I'm, uh paul you look I'm, like you go to the gym what's what's your stat yeah, paul, you ever I, been to the gym? I, I go to the gym a little bit but i don't have i don't have testosterone i want to i want to get to the philippines now you and should, get, get a little should, uh, yeah. get a little dose here yeah it, no it sounds like it's otc right yep. you can just kind of buy it off amazon whatever and then you can oh. just i don't know yeah. Oh, remember during the, the the home run race with Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire and Andrew was a big thing. I used to eat the shit out of Andrew. That worked. Really, that was Andrew. amazing. Yeah, creatine and Andrew. Yeah, it's the big, biggest I ever was. That, that stuff was legit, actually. Like Nor Andro, Andrew, creatine still a pretty good thing. But right. they also they also I take creatine just, now. I, they were just masking the steroid use. You know, they were like, oh yeah, we take this supplement, kids. Like go try go try it out. That's all yeah. we're doing. You know. I, Meanwhile, yeah. Sammy Sosa also corked his bat on top of on top of using steroids. He had the cork bat. And you know, now Sammy Sosa. Wearing. Now he looks like Michael Jackson. He's, he's a, very, a white guy. How's he yeah. a white guy? I, I, I don't know. know white now. He's selling he Nissans in Arizona. <laughs> My God. Dude, do you remember the Dave Chappelle sketch with the racial draft? I think do you, do you remember this? Yeah, I think oh, we yeah. got Sammy Sosa, which is great. I mean, welcome to the team, Sammy. Glad to have you. Right. right. Oh, oh shit! More more memes. I'm sorry. I was more I was memes. all excited the about memes it. never end, Eric. I was all excited about uh, steroids. Can I, just, can I just say real quick that those guys in the store, like the the Jack guys, man, they're in the pizza shop, whatever. Yeah. I think it's part right. of like the this bad boy chef culture that started like 20 years ago where like chefs used to be like good at cooking and they went yeah. to like culinary school and shit. But now yeah. you just have to have like tattoos and be like kind of jacked and be like, I'm a bad boy chef. That's such like, a great I'm point making, because here's the you thing. Know, like, you're right. They're bad boy chefs, but you can only be jacked if you work at a sub shop because you have time off. Like real chefs that, work right, right. 20 hour right. shifts. So the, the only way yeah. they can be cool is with the sleeve tattoo. You're so there, like, I think you're right. Yeah, about dude, this. right. You're right. Yeah. All the tats. That's, that's a good point. I will say this too about people that are heavily tattooed. I they're never interesting. And uh, I know this yeah. is uh, like you see somebody with fucking neck tattoos and sleeves. You go, oh, you must have a story. Nothing. Right. No, no, yes. they're boring as fuck. They're, <laughs> they're boring like I like the Care Bears. That's true. Right? Yeah. No you show story. me one interesting person covered in tattoos. They're compensating. It's the big truck theory. You buy the big truck because you have something yeah. fucking wrong with it. <laughs> I know. I know why girl. I know why girls have a lot of tattoos. Have a lot of tattoos though. Because Daddy they're addic They're addicting. 
they're, they're so like, addicting. Yeah. <laughs> you get one and you want to keep getting more. That's always yeah. the that's always the reason. I and daddy that. issues. And daddy issues. Yeah, okay. you're right. Oh you're right. Most things are daddy issues. All right, here we go. <laughs> no lie. This went so funny. No good. Being put on restriction. What who was it? Jeff said to me, restriction? Who gets put on restriction? You get grounded. <laughs> and then, well, I was put on restriction in first grade. And I remember my restriction was I couldn't leave my own front yard. So I used to go up to the border where my grass, the grass met the neighbor's grass, and stand right on the edge and say, Hail Satan, Hail Satan, Hail Satan. <laughs> and I'd stay on restrictions. <laughs> well, that's probably what will happen to these two, too. <laughs> Interesting. You thought that was like not. stupid, right? And then it gets, and then you're like, "What?" In the, I had to watch that thing like three times because those dolls are not. That, the Q, QVC is right in my backyard. The studio is like right here. The hell's and saying? I've never seen that. I've never seen that clip. That but was I, Aaron. I just find that. I, oh yeah, that, it was. All, that's such a classic. Wait till the end. Like hell, Satan. Who gets grounded for saying? <laughs> oh my right. god. Well, you, she was on restriction. I think. Wow, well, you she was on restriction. No, yeah, but she was on restriction, restriction, so she couldn't talk. That's right. Yeah. Don't I don't know if you know this get too. like checked before they go on air. No, they were all live. This They're is like the Wild West in the 90s, man. I know anything like us. We want. This is the other thing. Heavily tattooed people don't want to talk about their tattoos. It's like you're walking around with fucking brightly colored ink all over you. What else are we supposed to talk about? The weather? You fucking weirdos. Right. All right. Anyway, <clears throat> what else do we got? I'll tell you. Oh, why am I asking? I'm I'm in charge. <laughs> <laughs> it's rhetorical. It's the mouth man. Oh, uh, this is great. I, I don't know why. <laughs> He lost his stick. <laughs> if a crazy no, white guy runs up to you with a two by four, you got to start swinging back. You know, what you I mean? got to start swinging three. back, but yeah. not an honorable Jedi, though. The, the other <laughs> guy, not an honorable Jedi, because he dropped his sword and he just comes swinging at you know. You got to. So win. you know what I think you we know win. here. I think we know what Dave Mustaine's been up to. <laughs> <laughs> swinging two by fours at uh, innocent black men in the street. That 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 checks out. So Paul, you're, Star you're Wars. <laughs> Paul, your issue is not with the violence, but that he just no. no I don't. I don't. Yeah, not an honorable way to try and uh, fight back. You know, you got to at least let him get his uh, two by four back. Can I just say one other thing before I forget? And I was going to send it to you. I Eric, thought the black thing was going to have a double two by four. That's kind of the, that's what I thought was coming. Oh yeah, yeah. Like yeah. With the, I, I, I saw a post yeah. today on uh, on in, on um, sorry on LinkedIn that was about the metaverse, and it says that um, the metaverse allows me to weld. And get my welder's license. So I was saying about if you have a welding problem, they can help you with it. Oh, welding by using that, virtual reality. Yeah, yeah, that was Iron Man's issue. That's, that was that was his great addiction. Yeah, welding. That, yeah that's right. That's awesome. Maybe that's what he's doing now, man. He's he's selling welding lessons on the metaverse. Iron Man. He's got to do something. He's got to be a little old now. A little old. Well, you're like, there's so much more to weld. I got to get out there. He's not the war machine he once was, but nah, he, he still knows how to weld. He's yeah. Still weld. That's um, is the cat, put, a, put a cat back on your car in uh, a minute, probably. Yeah, no, yeah. Mark Zuckerberg lives there. <laughs> he does. He does. You know what I was there. thinking about? Mark Zuckerberg looks a lot like that guy Data. He does. Well, you showed us the other day, right? Are they I, doing yeah. the same regimen? I would imagine so. Vampire blood. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Is anyone in the metaverse besides Zuckerberg? Is it just him walking around? It's and him. Shitty it's virtual him. He's the overlord. He's the overlord. Yeah. He I, for for two years he for two years he's been waiting for people to for people to show he's a, throwing a party. And no one's there's a bunch of women. There's a bunch of women there. <laughs> yes, <laughs> just uh, him. Though I I did see a story on the news about a year ago where some some lady was so offended in the metaverse. Some guy in mm -hmm. the metaverse yep. did something to her avatar. Like I like not nothing major. Like he sexually assaulted like, her or something. Yeah, her was avatar. There, was, oh, was that? Was that it? Yeah, he, okay. he said he said something, something. He said something that was sexually uh, abusive. I think is what he I, offended. I know yeah, okay. yeah, she was offended, but it was sexual Which, in nature. It was yeah. sexual, yeah. Mm. Which I guess you know, I you know, you shouldn't do. Obviously, it's not a good good habit, but it's not. It isn't yeah. real life either. I mean, it, it is just. Like like you play video games where you where, like in Grand Theft Auto you like kill hookers like yeah. I, I mean you know like I, I don't know I, it, it's not real 
Yeah, yeah. No, no, but have you ever heard like two people play Madden over the internet and the awful, vile things they say to each other? Yeah, so obviously, right, like right. now you're gonna get a chick involved just walking around on the streets of the metaverse and there's no rules and it's not really real. Right. It's gonna be real vile real quick. And 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 to be yeah. honest, the way she was dressed, she deserved it. She <laughs> in the metaverse. I mean, yeah, you know, <laughs> skirt was I'm too short. Like, come on, her skirt, was what her skirt what she was asking for. She was out the here. Well, you know, they don't look like real people. They look like those. You know, those little, uh, little boys yeah, right. kids play weird. That's how you yeah, look. Right. You know what I'm They're talking like about? Furry, like little like, people. Like That's what you look like. Yeah, like those little. Yeah. It's just like a head. You know yeah, what I mean? What? There's no. My question is, how is it worse than like we technology? Remember we, and you can make the little. That's what I mean. It's like that. How do they look worse than means? How did you fuck that up? Yeah. Well, this right. is a different universe, not 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 some new technology. Now, come no, here. here's the thing: Zuckerberg <laughs> had one good idea. Most of us are lucky to have one good idea. That's enough. You had Facebook. Stop it with the metaverse. Like right. that's it. You you blew right. your load on Facebook. You know Perfect. they've spent a bi like billions of dollars on it, like billions yeah. and billions of dollars. Oh my god, yeah. yeah. And now the headsets keep coming out, and it's like, dude, have you no, seen I'm apples? Give this shit. Have you seen apples? Just fucking give yeah. up. Apples are like yeah. glasses you put on. Yours are just picking. They come out to here. I can't yeah. see anything. They're also oh heavy. Marks okay. are heavy. I have a pair. They They're are heavy, heavy I man. I tried them. I yeah, yeah, I did Quest too. I tried it. I bought it. Yeah. Why did yeah. I buy? I don't even know why. I've used it like an. What's hour the next through. story, Eric? Oh. I know we've got so good. Ones. Oh, I don't sorry, sorry. Get I get all I get all worked up about the metaverse. Um, uh -oh. I want Paul to see some good ones here. Uh, this is a real. This had me chuckling. Food that I put on this plate by smelling it, I will give you five hundred dollars. Okay. All right. Smell it. <laughs> Roscoe did a poo. <laughs> <laughs> that is what, that is great. What did we do before oh, the internet? Man. What did we do before the internet? <laughs> that is great. All the props that were involved in that too. That big tube. Why how did you get that tube? Tu was that like a big paper towel roll made for a giant? What, <laughs> what the hell was that? That, that point. That was I it. Mean, Paul, that was the paper towel roll for the actual brony man. Because <laughs> he's like seven foot tall, right? And he like, or he's like right. walking through the woods like a green giant. Right. Could have been. Exactly. Could have been. Uh, this actual, one. Uh, roll. Tropics. Here's the latest on Tropical Storm Chantal. But before we get to that, I do want to mention I do have a new friend named Chantal, and she was very kind to me on my last visit to the East Coast. So hello to Chantal and the whole friendly crew at Spearmint Rhino in West Palm Beach. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you, Rob, yeah, Spearman yeah. Rhino is not a restaurant. No, not, Ve not Vegas. It ain't. I, I don't no. know about. Yeah, I don't know about Palm Beach. Yeah, I didn't know. I, I know the one in Vegas. I, I was unfamiliar with yeah. the one in West Palm, but it, I, you're not gonna believe this, Paul. It is the same kind of establishment. It's the what? same kind of establishment. Yeah. Mm. Why do strip clubs have the most hilarious names, and why don't other restaurants follow suit? Like, there's one near me called the Golden Banana. I mean, this is a great fucking name. They have cage dancing. Like, they're yeah, right, hard right. launch. They're like rap names or wrestler names. Anything goes. But then right. you have Applebee's or the Olive Garden. No, come. Yeah. Come on, yeah. bring some heat here. No, nah, you're right, man. And Spearman Rhino, that's a cool name. Spearman like Spearman's nice. You ever notice? Uh, yeah, like Spearman. they do have interesting yeah. names. You know, one thing I'll say too. I just want to say it's about about uh, Chinese restaurants, especially the fast food <laughs> ones. So that no, no, the quick ones. Like in New York, they're always called Golden and mm. some portion of Dragon. Sure, always, sure, always. It's like yeah. Golden yeah. Szechuan and, Dragon or yeah. Dragon Golden. It, right. There's never sure. any different name. Never. Or garden, or number one, or garden, or king. Like right. there, there are like six different words that can be yeah. in the in the name of the Chinese. Like the one by my house, I love. I love the place. You're not gonna believe it. It's called Lotus Golden Dragon. Wow. Okay. Nice. I don't. I don't want to play the one up game, but my local shitty Chinese restaurant is called Walk and Roll. That's pretty good. Walk that's good. I like that. Hey. That's good. I, I know, like right? Yeah, that's I'd very go good. There. I, I, Real good. I'm in. A, I'm in a college town here. I have a ton, dude. There's China King. There's China Walk. Mm. There's China Palace. The yeah. all three of them are right. So it's you guys China have a China, so it's China in your name. Everything here China is golden. Is dragons. golden. Mm -hmm. But then yeah, there's number one China, number one China also, which is a little yeah. different. Mm -hmm. China is the yeah. end at the end. So I like that. That's yeah. unique. We had a number guest one. on the other day from a, uh, a town there. We used to bartend, and the bar uh, the bar was called the Venetian Moon, and everyone thought mm -hmm. that was Chinese because of Moon, even though Venice How is. I don't know, but everyone will go, isn't that the Chinese place? Venetian, you fucking moron. That sounds like a good place for a yeah. strip club, a good name. A Venetian moon would be, right? That could be. Go there. Yeah. Yeah, good you could change the, you know what you could do? You could change the M with a P. Mm. Venetian moon. <laughs> 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 
That's <laughs> good. Never Phoenician moon. Ah, but yeah. think All about right. you'd your Chinese your Chinese restaurant names. You could even pick from, take from the the Vegas names like Spearmint Dragons. Kind of cool. Spearmint, Spearmint Dragon. Yeah, that's a good one. It could be green. Sounds you could be cool. winter green. Winter green. Win uh, dragon. Right. Gold. I love no, 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 go, winter green golden. Mm. I like sweet winter mint green gold. Orbits. Uh, oh, oh, sweet yeah. mint's good. How about how about React Mint Palace? <laughs> that might not be bad. I would absolutely get the Rangoons there. I'm talking Adam. about man. I'm talking about. I'm gonna rep oh, it. look at Rangoon you guys man. Notice, man. This, uh, this five gum is going. This five gums like five bucks a pack now. Are you, are you get it on Amazon? It's five dollars a get slice. Like ten of them for like fifteen bucks now. They're oh, like I love gum. Bad. I don't know what. I, there's a shortage of gum. No one's talking about it. Is there a shortage? Okay, of gum? No one's talking. There's a shortage. Oh, and I don't know if that's true. There must be. Green are they running out of gum? I, I yeah. guess the gum. What they chemical the gum. do they need? Well, they, oh, it's it's got to be the rubber. Yeah, pick Here, it up. Do we have any more good ones or today? Is that all I have? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. I just got, got wrapped up on gum. We keep going on sorry. these. Uh, yeah. I just want Paul to see all of these. They're so good. Uh, oh, Paul, my uh, memory is untouched. This is my oh, favorite. This. my favorite part of the show. I this? do a show all week just for this. All right, hold on, hold on. This is maybe the fun. Hold on, I gotta. Was there any concern that he would team up with another small man to step inside the trench coat, little rascal style? <laughs> no. All right, one more. Was there, was there any concern that he would team up with another small man to step inside the trench coat, little rascal style? No. <laughs> <laughs> Such a cartoonish oh, answer. I yeah. love it. I love it. No, <laughs> we haven't explored that possibility. That's what he should have said. I love it. I think they should have walked out in a two two person horse suit. Would have been better. Walk <laughs> out in the horse suit. <laughs> you know that. You know what? what? Somehow that's almost more feasible because two midgets on top of each other. That's just that's tough. But a horse? No, I yeah, think that so. works. Yeah. I don't think you can say that word anymore. I know so. we've said two words we're not allowed to say. Well, so, I didn't say them. Which no, is Paul said well, one. Change. Nah, I'm sorry. Okay, hold on. Do you guys like Michael Jackson? You like the work of Michael Jackson? Are you familiar with him? I've heard of him. Did you know there's an Indian version? Well, if you didn't, you're about to. Nepali mantra mitte ye mauta wo Kangaru patta kanne shingarama Vana pullo kuda yenta vayyarama Goli maar Goli maar 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 Robin, you're That's Indian. Funny. Do you enjoy yeah. you know that guy? I do not, but they somehow made it worse than the original. Oh, come on. That's just scary. Yeah. That was fucking great. No, that was really good. Um, he was kind of scary. Of I won't lie. He was scary. He, yeah. hmm. A lot of things he did were really good. Some of the things he did were really bad. Are you <laughs> talking about Michael or this gentleman? Michael. I'm talking about Michael. Okay, I think it's about <laughs> this gentleman. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, got I know about him. So far, so good for him, I think. So far, yeah, I give him a... A plus for him. I gotta I be mean, honest, he looked pretty yeah. scary. He looked like a real werewolf. No, he's really good. Really good. Yeah. Um, and then he did and then he had the girl dancing with him. I think in Michael's version, the girl was afraid of him. She wasn't dancing with him, was she? I mean in the no, end, maybe. Shoot. But no, she, she just she, she silently witnesses the whole dance routine for nine minutes. As I recall. And then, and then if you remember correctly, right? I remember he had Vincent Price, which was a big deal, right? Doing the, mm. the opening for Michael. Yeah, and I remember thinking to myself, "Wow, Vincent Price looks old." And then I remember, like two or three years ago, or when he was—I think he's still alive. But when he was still alive, I remember, "Damn, that guy's still old." I remember mm -hmm. him being like seventy when I was a kid, and he was still right, seventy right. when I seen him a few. How years. about those people, man? I give those people credit. That those guys. I think he might have been a vampire. Older. Vincent Price older. was an actual vampire. Actually, you know, Suzanne Suzanne Summers never looked older. Really, mm -hmm. you remember she died? She died recently. She died the other day. She was in a lot of good crazy. shows. She was in Three's Company and Step by yeah. Step, yeah. Day by Day. Yeah. Step by step, good show, good show. Yeah, that was a good one. And she was an absolute ten in Three's Company. Like Suzanne mm -hmm. Summers was hot as. You know, they got rid of her because she wanted more money. I think it was, or something happened, yeah. and they got rid of her. It was crazy. She pulled the whole Diane thing from uh, Cheers. Like mm -hmm. they got too big for the show, and they did nothing afterwards. No, she did the she five. Was, after. She was Chrissy. Remember, wasn't her name Chrissy? Yeah, I think so. On uh, Three's Company, yeah. Mm -hmm. so like Jackie. You Moore. know who was a national yeah. treasure too was Jack Ritter. What was his name? 
Uh, yeah. He died way uh, too early, too. Yeah, he was a good, um, what was his name? John something, right? He yeah. had that show. Remember when he only really had Jack's Bistro? Yes. Classic. Classic American television. All right, we have time for one more. Do you want to do the dogs with the beans, or do you want to do the Yeah, dog, dogs and the beans. <laughs> okay, we got one more, ladies and gentlemen. This one's good, um, Paul. Gremlin is hunting a particularly large green bean. The job is not easy when you're only six inches tall, but she is more than up to the task. She has to put her whole weight into it, and she only weighs a mere five pounds. But the prize is worth it. For the male, gremlin, things are easier. For what he lacks in brains, he makes up in brawn. <laughs> he weighs a formidable 17 pounds and has many more teeth. It will take this pair only a few days to strip all these plants bare. <laughs> Fortunately, the farmer maintains a steady stream of new crops so they can enjoy a summer long feast. <laughs> but green bean hunting is tying business and must always be followed by a nice nap in the sun <laughs> that's great. Know, yeah that's great. oh that well bro impression is spot on i like yeah, when he I called him grimbling he was grimbling mm -hmm. they called the him the two, the two garden grimblings yeah. well We've killed another Wednesday, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're over time, so we should probably we log off. We've killed it. Paul, why don't you stick around in the green room for a minute? But uh, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully you can come up with a guest because ours bailed. But uh, hey, hey, see you tomorrow. Bye.